To replace the CMOS battery on an old motherboard, it should be as simple as unsoldering this battery and soldering in something like this, where we get the CR232 button style battery. The pins are about the right distance. To do this task though, we will need a little bit of soldering flux, a soldering iron, which likes to run away, and a bit of fine wire solder. As our soldering iron is heating up, we can go over this motherboard that I got. This is a board that I've gotten off of eBay. It was a pretty good deal. It's a 486DX4100. The motherboard supports 72 pin SIMs and 30 pin SIMs. Unsoldering components is not a difficult task. It's just a matter of heating up the solder and working the component out. You can use things like a solder sucker to remove the solder or some solder wick, but sometimes you can just heat up the solder and push the component through and that will get it loose enough that it will fall out. There we have it, one bad battery. Now to fit our button battery component, positive is at the top, positive on the battery holder is here. Sometimes with these old motherboards we have just component problems. They weren't really designed for a button battery holder like this. Now I could have gotten a, a vertical one that would actually have had the battery this way. But I kind of like these coin type where they're flat. But we have a resistor here or a diode, one of those two things, that um, will not allow our battery to sit flat. The first step I took was to solder on some extensions. So that way I can position this battery wherever I want. Of course, we will need a little bit of support. And with the extensions, I need to be able to clear this diode, and then also get around our battery that we removed earlier. And to do that, I think I'm just going to use a little bit of double-sided 3M tape. We're going to go 3, and we're going to offset our battery slightly that way, so that it moves up on the motherboard. Just like that. Now just to solder everything back together. It's been a couple of days since we saw this DX4 486 motherboard. Last time it was on the bench, I replaced the barrel battery with a coin battery holder. But then I realized that those barrel batteries actually have a charge circuit. So I need to put a diode in line with this battery so that it doesn't charge. And then we can put our little coin in there. So while the board is on the bench, let's Power it up and see what it does. We have some activity on the post. So that means that the motherboard's working. Let's go ahead and get to these repairs real quick. So the first thing I would like to do is we have the system running right now. We're going to put my meter on the battery to make sure that I got the polarity correct. And as you can see, it jumped up. We have 4.7 volts of electricity going to that battery holder and we really can't have any. This will be my first time using a solder sucker so let's see how it works. We'll be removing this lead and then we'll just peel the battery back, put the diode in 
and then re-solder it. go. Now that the battery's off, we can clean this up. And basically start all over. Our diode will go on the positive side right here. And since we have this bit of a length to make the, to make a fit, we'll just Put it in place right there. There are several different diodes that we could use for this purpose. And this is a pack that I got off of Amazon. And here is a much larger example. But the important thing to note is that we have polarity that we need to take care of. We have a cathode and an anode. And the way that this works is power stops at the line. So if power is coming in on this side, it will stop here. So it won't pass this direction, but it will pass that way. And when we wire this into our battery, we want to make sure that we hook it up correctly. The other thing to note is that we do have a voltage drop when we have power going across the diode and some diodes are more efficient than others. For our battery project I'm going to be using these little red Schlotsky diodes. Let's see if they'll focus real quick. We're basically going to go to wire it so that we are stopping the power here so this will go to the motherboard side. This will go to the battery side. And we'd like to reinstall it into the motherboard. And since we've seen that before, I'm going to get some 3M tape, and I'll be back when we're done. And just like before, now that we have the system back together, we're going to fire this up, check for a charge circuit, and we should be done with our repair. And we have a little bit of reverse current, but that is really minuscule compared to the way that it was. So there you have it. Barrel battery replacement with a coin CR232.